And now, ladies and gentlemen, here is the timeline of over a hundred years of the dreaded eugenics horror. Depopulation should be the highest priority of foreign policy towards the third world. Henry Kissinger, 1974. Uh, there's a need for a new world order, but it has different characteristics in different parts of the, of the world. Now, None of this may succeed this time, but this to me is sort of the outline by which someday in the next few years a solution will emerge. The Kissinger authored US plan targeted 13 key countries where mass population reduction was called for. Kissinger recommended that IMF and World Bank loans be given on condition that nations initiate aggressive population control programs, such as sterilization. Kissinger also recommended that food be used as a weapon, and that instigating wars was also a helpful tool in reducing population. Where does this mindset come from? Why do the elites kill the largest masses of people when no one is resisting them? when they've already attained total control. What ideology drives the elite, psychopath? With savages, the weak in body or mind are soon eliminated, and those that survive, commonly exhibit a vigorous state of health. We civilized men, on the other hand, do our utmost to check the process of elimination. We build asylums for the imbecile, the maimed and the sick. The weak members of civilized societies propagate their kind. No one who has attended to the breeding of domestic animals will doubt that this must be highly injurious to the race of man. From the Descent of Man, by Charles Darwin. 1798, Thomas Malthus, inventor of the Malthusian catastrophe, he said that a mass food collapse would be helpful, because it would wipe out the poor. 1859, Charles Darwin, who was a huge fan of the Malthusian catastrophe, inspired him to publish his book, Origin of Species. 1860, Thomas Huxley, pushes Darwin's theories into wide acceptance, amongst key scientific circles throughout England. 1883, Francis Galton, cousin of Charles Darwin, coins the term, eugenics, a way to decide, who would be licensed to breed. 1904, Charles Davenport started the American eugenics movement funded by Carnegie Institute, Rockefeller Foundation, and Harriman Railroad Fortunes. 1907, the first sterilization laws were passed in the United States. Children with mild deformities, or low test scores on their report cards, were arrested, and forcibly sterilized. 1910, United States Eugenics Record Office was set up. By then, the British had created the first network of social workers, expressly to serve as spies and enforcers of the eugenics race cult. 1911, Rockefeller exports eugenics to Germany by bankrolling the Kaiser Wilhelm Institute, which later would form a central pillar in Hitler's Nazi Germany. 1912, eugenics becomes an international craze and gains superstar status. 1916, H. G. Wells' lover, Margaret Sanger, starts her promotion of eugenics in the United States. 1923, Margaret Sanger receives massive funding from the Rockefeller family for her promotion of eugenics. 1924, Hitler finishes writing Mein Kampf and credits United States eugenics movement as his inspiration. 1925, the American Civil Liberties Union succeeded in splitting the nation in two camps via the John Scopes trial, evolutionists and creationists. Consequently, bringing evolution into the classrooms and conditioning the nation with the eugenics movement. 
1927, eugenics hits mainstream. The pseudoscience was aggressively pushed into schools, churches, and state fairs. 1933, Hitler comes to power and passes national eugenics laws, modeled after laws in the United States. 1934, the film, Tomorrow's Children, glorified the eugenics agenda by bringing it to the silver screen in the United States. Suppose she is normal. The chances are that her children will inherit the family taint. Isn't that possible? But, Your Honor, I... I'm sorry, Doctor. Three generations of unfit are enough. Petition not allowed. Ladies and gentlemen, it is now time to play the next video as we have come to the end of this chapter. I thank you.